In this video, we are going to discuss the basic introduction of Python. And in this video, you will also find the answers of questions such as why Python is getting popular and what makes Python a better programming language than others. So we will discuss about the basics of Python, the history, several characteristics which makes it such a better programming language than others and several applications. So to begin with, what is Python? Python is nothing but a general purpose. dynamic high level and interpreted programming language So this is the very basic definition of Python that it is a general purpose, dynamic, high level and interpreted programming language. It supports object oriented programming approach to develop several applications. The history behind Python is that it is an interpreted and high level programming language created by Gideon Van Rossum and first released in 1991. That time the version Python 2.0 released in 2000 and it introduces features like list comprehension, garbage collection, which we all be studying in our upcoming videos. So now what are the several characteristics or we can say the features of Python that makes it such a better programming language than others and such an use in today's world. So the very first characteristics of Python is that it is easy to use. That is, it has simple structure, easy keywords, and clear defined syntax that makes it easy and attract students. The second feature is that it is free and open source. So Python language is freely available and in its official web address, it can be easily available and you can download it. Also, we have Google Colab for doing the basic programs, which I will discuss in my upcoming videos. Third is that it is object oriented. Now object oriented is like Python supports both procedure oriented and object oriented programming, which is one of the key features of Python. It also support multiple inheritance, which we have seen when we previously discussed about Java also that it doesn't support multiple inheritance for that we use the concept of interfaces, but there's not, not no as such case as in Python, it supports multiple inheritance also. The next feature is that it is portable. Now portable means Python run equally on different platforms like Windows, Linux, Unix, etc. The next feature is it is expressive language. Now Python codes simple and it makes more readable and understandable. That means when we will do with the coding portion, you can see that it is very easy to write and it is more understandable. There is not a huge lump sum of logic there. It is very easy to understand. The important feature is that it is interpreted. I have also written here in the definition also that Python is an interpreted language and we know that it reads and execute code line by line. That makes the debugging very easy. So this is also one of the feature we can say that it is interpreted. The next feature which we have is sixth we have discussed and the seventh feature is extensible. Now this word you might have seen many a times extensible. This means that Python code simple and it makes more readable and understandable too. Also you can write some of your Python code in other languages like C++. It makes Python more extendable to the other fields also. Next is that it is integrated. That means it can be integrated with languages like C, C++ and Java. Also the major feature of Python is that GUI. So it is GUI programming is supported. That means Python offers various libraries for making graphical user interface. And Python is actually so much in use because it has a huge lump sum of libraries. And from there you can inherit several functions or you can say several methods for using any kind of program or you can make a developed kind of interface also. So it supports GUI program also. 
and the last feature it can be said that which i have discussed also that a large standard library python downloads with large library that you can use so you don't have to write your own code for every single thing it has a huge sum of library so this is one of the most important feature and that makes python so much in use because it has a large standard library So these are the features which makes Python so much in use and it is such an advanced and developing programming language in today's world. Next we come to the applications that where which are the several fields in which Python is used. So the applications are the fields in which Python programming is mostly used. The first field is web applications. So web applications, we can use Python to develop web application and it also provides us framework such as Django. Pyramid. Etc. to design several web applications. One of the major use of Python today is in ML machine learning. Different applications can be implemented in machine learning using Python. Third is scientific computing. Some libraries are there like SciencePy, Pandas, which are full of package of engineering and mathematics that helps the programmer or the user to do scientific computing. So Python has a major scope or an application that is in scientific computing. It has also major use in business applications also. In business application, we have OpenERP, Triton, and other good examples of Python business application. That means this is actually the format where you can develop several business applications also. It is also a major use in games and 3D graphics. Now, PY game library for games and GUI library to develop the user interface in Python based application. So that is much more in use for creating the games and the 3D graphics. Also, last application, which is a major application that is desktop, desktop applications. Now desktop applications like YouTube, Dropbox, BitTorrent, Bazaar and Cinema 4D are the desktop applications which are all developed in Python. Some of the real life applications of Python are Netflix, Facebook, Google, etc. They all are basically somewhere developed with the help of Python. So that's why Python is so much in use and it is such an efficient programming language. The major use is that it is interpreted and it has a large standard library and there are other sets of libraries also which can be used and it provides frameworks such as Django, Pyramid, SciencePy, Pandas which are full of package for development and building several applications. So this is a basic introduction of Python which we have discussed by the end of this video. In upcoming videos, we will be getting started with Python programming.